the V Trades technical analysis course is now live. Learn to read the chart the right way to prevent costly mistakes. Click the link below to start training now. What's up traders? This is V Trades and today I will be doing a technical analysis breakdown for Carvana with the ticker symbol CVNA. This was a viewer's request and thank you for your donation. I will first go over what I see on the daily chart and finish the video off with the weekly chart. So here we have the daily chart for CVNA. Let's go and zoom in on the price action. Uh, looks like we had a nice pop up from December uh, 2022 up until uh, February of this year. Basically that was just to retest this prior breakout level. So you can see this was the prior support. Prices broke it. We tested it for resistance, sold off sharply. Uh, we could be going up and testing it again because normally the price likes to do multiple tests of a breakout level. So it looks like it could be doing that um, and setting up for that. So let's go over the price action in the more recent time. So basically after this move up and a move down, uh, price just kind of went sideways. So I can go ahead and draw a range for that sideways trading. So basically we had a downtrend right over here. I'm going to draw that downtrend. After the downtrend, we got a break, a move to a new low because it's past the previous point in the channel. After that, prices went sideways. That's very um, uh, expected. Um, it's not random at all. After the sideways trading, prices got a double bottom back at this prior low. That led to a huge gap up. And since we're in a range now, prices go from the highs to the lows and lows to the highs. So we went from the lows up into the highs. But it looks like we're still breaking out. Why are we still breaking out? Because it looks like prices are now uh, in the formation of this measure move right over here. So this was all just one leg up. And this was pretty much the corrections for the starting point of the second leg. So the second leg is right at the 2275 level, uh, which is very close to that prior, uh, the large breakout at the $20 level. So it looks like um, this is probably the real deal. I'd be expecting higher prices. Uh, especially because we just, you know, we were very close to, we definitely exceeded the all-time lows for CVNA. Uh, so this is pretty much rock bottom for prices right now. So basically we're going to see some good uh, impulses up from here. Um, so I'm looking for a breakout towards this level right here at the 1333 level. That would double the range. That's usually a measure move target for the range breakout if, if it is successful, which I think it can be because of the, uh, the signs on the chart. If it's really bullish, we can go back up to this prior high at the 1746 and then this breakout level at the 2028. And this obviously this measure move target is also in play at the 2267 level. So right now it looks pretty bullish. I'd be expecting higher prices, um, but that's we, what we can also get uh, is a pullback. So since we're breaking out, don't just expect prices to move in a straight line right to that those key levels. Uh, that's not really how the market works. I'm going to delete that, get this out of the way. What we're going to do is probably break out, see a couple attempts down, and then we can probably see higher prices. So that's what I'm looking for. CVNA looks kind of bullish, and I'll be looking for higher price targets. Uh, so that's everything I have on the daily chart. Basically, we had a move up from last year up until February of this year. That was to retest the breakout point. After we re retest the breakout point, this was a very unsustainable move up, and it's going to crash down because it pretty much went in a straight line up. We can go in a symmetrical move down. So basically prices came back right to the starting point of that up move. And ever since then, it was kind of flat, waiting for some type of catalyst. Looks like earnings came out uh, and they used that earnings report to uh, rocket prices up. Um, we're not really finding resistance at that $10 level anymore. Uh, looks like this is a strong breakout. We could, you know, fail and come back in this range, uh, but it looks like prices are attempting to an another one of those retests. So this was a really large retest. I'm expecting another one to uh, occur right over here. So that's why I'm looking for higher prices for CVNA just some, just up until probably that $20 level. Now let's take a look at the weekly chart. So here's the weekly chart. This is the entire price action for Carvana all the way to 2017. The, that was all time lows right over here in 2017. Basically no other time prices came to it. Even in 2020, it did not come to it. In 2022, 2023, that's when prices exceeded it and made a new all-time low. Uh, so basically, you know, the stock went really uh, high up. And ever since then, you know, prices uh, are going to flatline. After, after a bubble pops, what you expect is prices to, you know, kind of curve 
down and then kind of flatline. So that's where we're getting right now. But inside that flatline, it could still be, you know, five to 10 point ranges. So that's what it looks like prices are doing. Uh, we did get rejected from the EMA here and here, uh, but that's not gonna happen all the time. Uh, and this looks like the time that prices will probably uh, break it. Uh, so it looks like we're breaking up above the EMA. Uh, this week is not done yet. Uh, this weekly candle uh, could turn red, uh, but right now it's breaking above. We need to see it close above it. Uh, but it looks like, you know, it is gonna be retesting those um, upper levels. So I'm looking for a breakout to this $20 level. And then um, we'll see what happens after that. But let's just say that doesn't occur. Then why did it not occur? Is because I guess before this is a breakout of a range. Most breakouts will fail. Uh, so what I wanna see is price breakout, come back down, see two attempts to fail, and then go back up. So that's what I'm looking for uh, CVNA to do. So right now, basically at the all time lows, we're gonna be seeing you know impulses and some volatility here. Uh, I'm looking for a retest of that $20 level. Looks like prices are um, bound to do it fairly shortly. And then um, we'll go from there. This is V Trades, and thank you for your time.